Hello. Today I want to talk about a mod that I've made and some recent developments in the community to do with redstone and also something that I think uh, should be fixed in the game. Uh, links to everything will be down in the description if you want to fast forward through this. Uh, but if you want to stay for the ride, uh, I guess let's begin. So first of all, I will link down in the description two videos, one by Nazm Nazmus and one by Myron Erio. Um, both discussing certain quirks to do with redstone and different redstone components timings. Uh, also, Na uh, Myron's video discusses command blocks. It's actually titled Command Block Inaccuracy, I think. And he has some interesting points, and so does Nazim in his video. And I wanted to investigate some more. Actually, by request from Nazim, I wrote this mod that I'm about to show you. And this mod helps us very, very, very nicely pinpoint exactly the timings of redstone circuits. So Nazim will probably be coming out with a video shortly of his test results. I suspect that actually any anything that we found was incorrect maybe spare some things. But for the most part, I think redstone surprisingly doesn't actually function like it's supposed to. Anyway... This isn't what this video is about. This video is about the mod and also about a bug in Minecraft. Not really a bug. Well, I'll discuss it a little bit more later. So first of all, the mod is something that I wrote. It's actually an extension to the tick speed mod. Well, it's it's my tick speed mod and I just added onto it a actually much, much bigger mod uh, that I also wrote, of course. And they're integrated with each other, which is very, very comfortable because they're both pretty much for the same sort of testing. Um, so I'm back in the same world here where I showcased the tick speed mod over the, over there. Um, and so again, we have the game rule tick speed if we want to mess with that. But what this mod actually does is it adds a command slash print and some uh, uses for that command. And what this what this actually does is I made a, a simple little infrastructure in the game that will print out um, the uh, different for different redstone components. It will print out uh, their type, location, and the tick in which they received an update. Um, so first of all, we'll see over here lever and dust. And this lever just printed out uh, that it received power or that it turned on at tick 7687 and this redstone dust outputted that it received power in the same tick uh, actually the dust uh, got updated first and if we go over here we'll see a similar thing happens for repeaters two ticks of delay between them as you'd expect two game ticks that is which is one redstone tick comparator similar sort of deal and I guess we can turn all of these off show you the same thing and with a torch, you'll see pretty similar. Yeah. So the command, what the command actually does is there's there's several options here. I made it very user friendly, I think. So you can you can uh, first of all you can use the tick count, and what this does is you have several options. First of all, you can do all on, which means that all the different redstone components will output to the chat, or you can do all off, which means none of them will output. You want to disable the mods functionality basically or you can have it uh, you can set the distance from the player the minimum or sorry the maximum distance from the player to which the blocks actually update so if I if I'd be over 16 blocks away from this it won't actually update you can actually change that distance so if I put it at one for example and I do all on it won't output if I get closer it will output um, the lever, okay, I guess, yeah, anyway, let's put this back to 16, and then, what else can we do, we can also set the tick speed, or set the tick count back to zero, so if we go back over here, you'll notice that the, basically, the world tick count reset, and, uh, well, we can also set individually for each type of block, so, we're, so there's dust, repeater, uh, Torch, Comparator, Piston, and Sticky Piston, which I haven't actually implemented yet. I might do in the future at the moment. The infrastructure is there. I just haven't done it for the actual blocks themselves. And Lever also. 
And for each of these, we can control both the rising and falling edges. So rising is when it turns on, falling is when it turns off. And we can set those each of those to true or false. We could also just uh, we could also just print, for example, lever. It will it will tell us that both the rising and the falling attributes of lever. Yesterday, I released a short video on my channel, about 20 seconds. And I also posted a bug on the Majera bug tracker, and those discuss a, well it's technically not a bug, but it's something that I definitely think should be fixed in the game. It's to do with redstone dust and the way it updates, and it's a cause of a lot of lag on basically any server that has any sort of redstone on it. At least vanilla servers, I don't know if Spigot or uh, Bucket handle it differently. But anyway, redstone dust. If I'll go ahead and show you this smart dust functionality here, it's by default it's on true with the mod, because otherwise it's really annoying. But if I set it to false, and this is what you actually see, well, in an earlier version of the mod, but this is what you see in the video that I published. So if we turn it on, I'm actually going to destroy all of these. Yeah, so when I broke this piece, both of these dated. So basically, uh, when I turned this on, they all outputted and I guess you can already see pretty much what's happening here if I just, I don't know, do some lines here that we see some division and then if I go up here you'll notice that this this redstone piece, or this redstone dust piece actually oscillates all the way down through through each and every different um, power level all the way until it reaches power level zero and then it actually turns off and does this all in the same tick so you can imagine what's going to happen if we have several pieces of redstone here. Yeah, we're basically going to, get a, going to get a lot of spam. So the previous one ended right over here, and all of this, all the rest of this stuff is everything that happened uh, with these these four bits of redstone dust. Spare the last line over here. And that all happened in one tick. Each piece of redstone dust updates at least 23 blocks in the nearby area. Which means this alone, 4 times 23, well, it's not actually 4 times 23, sorry. Each time it updates, it updates 23 blocks. So this one will update 15 times 23, which is, I think, 345. This one will update 14 times 23, plus 13 times 23, plus 12 times 23. You get where this is going. This causes a lot of block updates whenever redstone dust is turned off. And... Yeah, it's really unnecessary. I mean, I wrote a quick little fix to actually deal with this to make it so that the redstone dust will only uh, will calculate its its correct state only once and then go directly to that state without actually oscillating through all of the different signal strength levels. This is something really silly. I think it's been in the game for probably very long. I've never heard about it before, and I I don't really know if it's a known thing or not, but. I've never heard about it before. It's a major lag causer on servers with redstone. And I think it should be fixed because it's a very easy fix. So if you think I'm correct, go ahead and upvote this on the bug tracker. Link will be in the description. Also link to the previous 20 second video. And again, links to Nazim Nazimus's and Myron Erio's videos appropriately. Also a link to download this mod in its current form. If I'll update it, I'll also update the link, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I think I covered everything. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. I guess I forgot to mention a few minor details. Uh, first of all, what the Smart Dust feature actually does is prevents Redstone Dust from printing out anything if its power level is between 1 and 14, so it'll only actually print out power level 0 or 15. So basically in your testing, you want to do something like this if you want to measure timings, not actually lay out like this because if, as you can tell, and as you saw before, it only updates, or it only up outputs from this block and from this block. And uh, another thing I forgot to say is, uh, you might have noticed already for redstone dust, it says, well, for everything pretty much, it says the power level. So for certain blocks like repeaters, and torches, this is always going to be 15. For redstone dust, this can be less than 15, but as I discussed, it's turned off by default. Uh, but for comparators, for example, you can actually use this very nicely. So as you can see, the lever turned on, the dust, never mind that. But the comparator over here, you can see it outputted 13, which is correct, because 15, 14, 13. And yeah, I guess this is turned off. 
But if we then do this, as you can see, it updates when you place the blocks as well. So, yeah. Uh, I suppose another thing I could mention is by default, everything is on. And by default, also the distance is 16. And by default, the uh, smart redstone, as I call it, or smart dust, is also turned on. That's it. Thanks for watching.